we know that being seen is just so incredibly important to children. And what I mean by being seen is your child comes home from school and is upset because no one would play with them and they are sad and they are experiencing that sadness. And yet so often with the best of intentions, we don't see or don't want to see because it's difficult for us as parents to see the heartache that that child is experiencing. And so often what we do is we try to go to solution to make nice. In effect, what we teach our children to do is to bottle. So we might do things like say to a child, um, no one would play with you at school. I'm so sorry. I'll play with you. Why don't we go bake cupcakes together? Okay. It's done with the best of intentions. I've done it. I'm guilty as charged. But what we do when we have that kind of interaction is we are encouraging our children to simply gloss over their emotional experience and they are not being seen. Now what's critical is earlier in the interview I spoke about the development of meta-emotion skills. The ability to rise above your emotions and thoughts and to see them for what they are, they emotions and thoughts. So we then ask the question, how do we start developing that skill in children? The answer is that children are only able to recognize that emotions pass if they are allowed to feel their emotions. So one of the first things that's really important in parenting is to be able to show up to your children's emotions and to help them to show up to their emotions because that helps children to actually develop this meta-emotion skill of recognizing that emotions pass. Now, critically important, I don't mean dwelling on, ruminating, uh, brooding on emotion. I mean helping children to see their emotions, to label their emotions, and for the child to start to develop a sense of, if I do A, I will feel better. If I do B, I will feel worse rather than the parent trying to make things right for the child. You talk about uh, autonomy, and one of the ones you say, for example, is you say minimize external rewards such as stickers, toys, sweets, or the cachet f f uh, for doing things. So, you know, how, how do you build or, or create or autonomous children? Uh, we have become highly extrinsically motivated, and we use many extrinsic motivators in society. There is a massive body of research showing that children who do better in life are children who are able to start discerning what is important to them. Their own sense of pride, because I peed in the potty as an example, as opposed to I'm just doing it for the money or for the M&Ms.